the friends. Today I'm going to be sharing the best carbs and chemicals for fat loss. camera we have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years and the reason we've done it is because we choose foods that we love and eat in a calorie deficit and because we love it we look forward to eating it so we're gonna share exactly the things that we eat that keep us looking forward to our food every single day and not only has it helped to keep the weight off it's also helping us get way leaner and in the best shape we've Whoa. ever been in and I'm fitting in my first size five and getting 11 lines for the first time ever eating these foods. So first we're gonna get into the chemicals. Now before I do, this weight loss and health are two separate things. This is what we do to lose weight and to keep us looking forward to our food so that we can stay on track, satisfy all our cravings and keep the weight off. Health is different. That's what fruits and veggies are for. That is not this video. Let's get into it. Let's start with marshmallows. Surprise, you caught that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mini marshmallows. We choose the multicolor ones because they have less sugar, and the mini ones you get a lot for a little calories. You get like a lot for 100 calories. These are so good to throw in to anything that is like a boring food, like plain yogurt, plain cottage cheese, oatmeal, anything, pancakes, spices it up. Little goes a long way. Halo Top. Halo Top is amazing. It comes in so many flavors. It actually has a lot of protein in it. You can eat the whole thing for not many calories. And they, are, they come in a ton of flavors and they really help us satisfy our ice cream flavor, our ice cream cravings, because we love ice cream and we never want to give it up. They actually have a lot of fiber in them too, right? Which I was surprised. At. Yeah, and the protein count is actually quite high and protein is super good because protein lowers the hunger hormone ghrelin. So anything that has extra protein in it actually is very helpful when you're eating in a calorie deficit. Next, we buy a lot of plain fat-free Greek yogurt because it's very high in protein and very low in calorie and you can eat a lot of it and get full and protein again. And we make a lot of French toast and we don't want to have maple syrup in there. It's too high in calories. So what we do to flavor is we buy the skinny syrups because they're usually zero calories, zero sugar and they come in a ton of flavors. We've got birthday cake, vanilla caramel cream. We also like buying different flavored extracts. This one is vanilla, but we also have, the, I think we have peppermint, coconut, there's maple, there's a ton, and it will flavor everything for you. We buy the plain Greek yogurt because the fruit flavored ones contain a lot of extra carbs and sugar. Doing it this way, we add the flavor, but not the calories and not the carbs and sugar. To go on our French toast or on our oatmeal, we have stuff like this. This is the Walden Farms zero calorie syrups and they come in a ton of flavors. Again, this one is chocolate. We also have the pancake syrup. Amazing way, again, to add flavor, get your sweet cravings out without the added calories, fat and sugar. Candy, or gum actually, we'll do sugar-free candy and gum. Amazing for in between meals. When you're eating in a calorie deficit, like Kyle and I all the time, you do get hungry because you're eating less. When it's in between meals and it's not time to eat, sometimes I'll eat a sugar-free mint or sugar-free, chew a sugar-free gum because it kind of tricks my body into making it feel like it's not hungry anymore because of the chewing and uh, it buys me time until I get to my next meal. And they come in a ton of different flavors which also satisfies my sweet cravings. The same with stuff like this. <laughs> You're Isn't fancy it? Like, with your flipping today. Yes, I am. Sugar-free, fat-free Jell-O pudding mix. Comes in every kind of flavor you can imagine. Super low calorie, 
flavors so many things for us. Protein shakes, protein ice cream. I put it in plain Greek yogurt and make fruit dip out of it. You can literally make anything out of this and Again, it gets out any craving you have, sweet-wise. If you get the sugar-free, fat-free cheesecake jello oh pudding, gosh. put it in Greek yogurt. We top that, you know, French toast. It's it's amazing. Oh, and or you can put in the light cherry pie filling with in the cheesecake and put the graham crackers, and it's like a cheesecake-flavored dessert, but it's Greek yogurt that's been flavored with that. Zero calorie sweetener. We buy this one from Walmart because it is super cheap and it lasts us a very long time. We literally like Frank's Red Hot sauce, like we put this in everything. And we like it's it tastes pretty good too. Like I like the taste in the yogurt, in the French toast. It's not like it's cheap and tastes weird. It kind of actually tastes like similar to sugar. We actually have been making low calorie sugar-free kettle corn with it. Putting it on um, cooking spray onto popcorn and then sprinkling that, it actually tastes. And lots of salt. And lots of salt, it actually tastes like kettle corn. Next, this, this basically, um, any sort of diet pop or iced tea in this case, has literally was a lifesaver for us because at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I was drinking seven regular sugar pops a day. The calories in that, really add up. So not stopping drinking pop, but just switching to a diet literally saved my life. Like me and Nicole, like about a thousand calories a day we were drinking, just not drink, eating. Not counting even the food. So that was huge. And now we drink about one or two a day. Next, we've got sugar-free barbecue sauce, sugar-free ketchup, flavors everything, gets out all your savory cravings. Sugar-free jam flavors again. Put it in your oatmeal, on your French toast, in your Greek yogurt. It's my jam. That Fine. now some of these like might actually be whatever natural, organic. We're not experts. Some of them have chemicals. Some of them aren't. Whatever. Yeah, to us they're chemicals. Fat-free cheese slices. Getting a little cheese. Also, kernel seasonings. We have so many because they flavor popcorn, they'll probably even flavor veggies, and it gets out any savory craving. Protein powder. Again, protein, it slows down the hunger hormone, makes you feel fuller longer, and protein powder comes in all flavors. So again, cravings. BCAAs, we add this. Some of them are natural, some of them are not. We add this to our water because it comes in amazing flavors like this one's lemonade. We're not sponsored by any of this. This is just what we use. Um, makes your water taste better, makes you want to drink it, which is really important when you're losing weight. Moving on to the carbs. We eat carbs we always have through our entire journey. We love carbs and we're not giving them up. Carbs fuel us and keep us sane and liking our diet. So this one is oatmeal. A little bit goes a long way when you cook it. It doubles in size, keeps you full, slow digesting, and why, very versatile. Why we do these together, the carbs and chemicals, because most of them we eat together. Yes. Like oatmeal with protein powder, oatmeal with the sweetener, oatmeal with some marshmallows. Or jam, or whatever. <laughs> or syrups. Bread, regular bread. We buy regular great value bread, whatever is the cheapest. Two slices, 170 calories. And we use all of this stuff to make it taste better. Usually we make French toast with egg whites and then we flavor it with all of these things. Kids cereal. This one is the Cotton Candy Crunch. I love cereal. This helps when I get low calorie kids cereal and I eat it as a snack or on protein ice cream, it gets out all my sugar cravings, makes me way less likely to overeat or eat something I didn't want to eat and I stay on track with my diet. These Joseph's Lavash wraps are amazing. High in protein, low in calorie, keep me full. One is huge. I eat them every single day, twice a day. I'll just jump in quick. Why the kids cereals for us, they're more satisfying, get our cravings out. But also, the cereals that are marketed towards adults like Harvest Crunch and that, or with yeah. almonds, or they have way more calories than the kids cereals. This is actually way lower calorie and fat to have kids cereal. And they're usually made with whole grains, so they're actually slower digesting. Popcorn. This was another lifesaver like the Diet Pop. 
super low in calorie. You can eat a lot of it for very few calories, high in fiber, so it's slow digesting. It's versatile. You can do sweet and salty or savory or sweet, whatever so you another want. Another thing I don't get why popcorn has this bad wrap. Yeah, it's actually amazing. And you can make it in anything. Just discovered these. These are the crispy minis. Creamy ranch. They also have a cheese flavored one. They're brown rice chips and they're in tortilla style. They're basically like low calorie Doritos. So they're me and Nicole, this would be like a, a sprinkle on to the popcorn is what me and Nicole do because they're much higher calories than popcorn, so we would sprinkle them on. Yeah, if we're, craving, if we're craving chips or Doritos, we'll take a portion, which is 10, and sprinkle them on our popcorn. Fill our bellies with the lower calorie, higher fiber, and then sprinkle on the flavor. It's kind of our motto with everything here. Yes, exactly. We eat a little bit of kid's cereal to get out our craving and sprinkle it onto something that's gonna fill our belly. Uh, Fiber One brownies, they also come in a ton of other flavors. It gets out brownie and cookie cravings for us. We love them because they're low in calorie, come in a ton of flavors, and they're super high in fiber, so they digest slow, fill you up, and you get out cookie cravings. This is the same with these pure protein bars. We're not sponsored, but we love them because they come in a ton of flavors, they're high in protein, they're a really good snack, and they're a really good substitute for chocolate bars. And we've had so many people tell us, like just the other day somebody said they always crave Reese's peanut butter cups, and, they eat the and peanut this butter particular one. flavor, I think it was the, it was the peanut butter There's one. There's a peanut butter chocolate one that yeah. we have right now, I think that's the one. This one is such a good alternative to Snickers chocolate bars, the peanut caramel, chocolate peanut caramel, wow. and. Um, we eat these every day. So that is it, the friends. If you want to know, Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years eating these things and we're getting even more fit and I'm going to be 38 and I'm the fittest I've ever been. If you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we got two weight loss guides. Links are down below. Exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes, all in there. Or you can watch one, two videos for free and get more information on how to love your food and lose weight at the same time. Oh my goodness. We love you. Thanks for watching. Long more enough now. Ready? I don't think I'm ever ready for the lawnmower. Actually. Always. Yeah. You're coordinated. Oh, wow. It's the friends coordinating me up. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. See ya. Goodbye. I'm a bag of oatmeal. <laughs> Drum roll, please. The Nicole Collette Guilt Free Cookbook is now available. What? Yes. 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 122 pages. 63 low calorie recipes, all low calorie versions of your favorite foods. 